Hey, good morning, Facebook and uh, YouTube friends. It's a uh, Sunday morning, and kind of a ritual I'll do is at my coffee, and on the weekend, I'll try to look at the YouTube comments. Facebook, site, Facebook I can hit a little bit faster, but uh, just looking at some of the stuff, it's really sometimes overbearing. Uh, and, and this morning, I'm just kind of having a lot of gratitude. I'm doing this cool new little... Uh, journal if you will called the five second journal it's it's a pretty cool way to start your day and one of the things in this journal that they talk about or give you give you an opportunity to think about is what you're grateful for so one of the things i'm grateful for is just uh kind people and the, the reason i'm bringing that up and and what i've noticed looking at the youtube and and facebook comments is there's just t these types of people i mean everything that i've done on YouTube and all this stuff on Facebook, it's free. I mean, there are people who pay thousands of dollars to go to school, to buy this information, to do all this stuff. And this, if you don't know the whole backstory, it's really, uh, uh, there's other videos on that. It's basically, I do this work in memory of my mom. My mom lost her life due to a healthcare uh, mistake, or mistakes, I guess you could say. And so I'm really passionate about this. And, and if, you, if you don't have any idea, I don't care what YouTube people you follow, it's crazy amounts of time, crazy amounts of time to to make a video. And I don't make like scripts and plan it out. I'm pretty authentic. I just wear my heart on my sleeve and say, check this out. This is this is something cool or this is the way to do this. Because the big reason, the big, big, big reason is that I believe that there's a lot of loss in doing mechanics wrong. And I don't mean just money and time and whatnot. I think people's lives are really at stake, especially in our two world uh, environment. So with all that, uh, it's, uh, this video is really not about why I do this. So I want to talk about the comments and the thing that I've noticed. So, you know, I'm, I can show you here. I'm just kind of uh, take a look here. I'm going off looking at data. YouTube has all this data where you can see how many people have viewed it and how many people have done this and that or whatnot. But I've, I've had my contact information on there. So a lot of you get a hold of me at howtowrench.com and I'll get those. Those get pretty screened and I don't get uh, kind of caught up in the junk. But I'm, I'm going to tell you something here. It is insane. The, the ways people try to ask for help or contact, I wouldn't even call it asking for help because I get these comments all the time. I was looking at this, 6,200 comments, right? 6,167 to be exact, 6,000. There's 38 million of minutes that have been watched on my channel, uh, 10.3 million views, Blah, 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 that data, but that is a crazy amount of people. There's 60,000 likes this year and 3,000 dislikes. I mean, there's no way I'm going to make, obviously, everybody happy. I do want to thank you. I see that. I didn't see this until recently. 50,000, almost 51,000 videos have been shared in playlists where you've, you know, given that to someone else or impacted someone. want to thank you for that. Subscribers are low, in my opinion. For what is offered here... I mean, I'm not trying to be conceited, but 30,000 30, uh, subscribers, it grows about 1,000 a month. But geez, me, with all your mechanical friends and anybody that's flinging wrenches or, or doing this, I can't believe that, honestly, that that's not hundreds of thousands. As a matter of fact, some of you guys have sent me personal emails or commented on channels and say, gosh, how are there not hundreds of thousands of subs? So please share that. That's something I'm definitely trying to grow the channel. Uh, there's going to be big changes at How to Wrench coming up here in the near future that's going to be announced. And big things, just big changes in my own personal life. So I'm focusing on this, like how do we maximize the positive impact? And through a lot of that, through the comments, the one I, that really kind of spurred me to stop and take a video was this one I got this morning from uh, this Eugene guy. He says, Shane, thanks for taking the time to read this email. It's wrote really nice too. And it says, I just want to thank you for posting your YouTube videos. I'm a subscriber and I cannot begin to thank you enough for how much I've learned from your videos. You're a great instructor and teacher. Uh, you, the detail you patiently cover and the way that it's explained is of great value. Blah, blah, blah. He kind of goes on and on, but he says this. I'm 69 years old now, and I'm still writing, still learning, still enjoying, and still wrenching. Thanks again, sincerely. That's all it's it. Doesn't ask for anything. Uh, I got another comment here uh, that really stuck out to me this morning. Uh, and like I said, this stuff gets so diluted because there's so much junk. 
it's hard for me to interact with you on the comments on YouTube. I mean, this one, very good. You're a natural teacher. I've learned so much from your uh, videos. You've reaffirmed things I already knew. I learned different techniques. Uh, I'm 56 years old. Here's the thing that I've noticed about the different types. Man, I swear, if, if you're 50 or older, I was going to start this video and say if you're 60 or older, you're just from the generation that I gravitate towards of just respect and kindness. Uh, another person put on here something that was like, hey, I love what you do. I respect what you do, but I don't agree with this video or this technique. I'm fine with that. I mean, well, it, how you come at someone makes all the difference in the world. You come attacking me. When I'm trying to help or I'm trying to do something, you're never going to get me. You, boop, I'm going to shut off. I have no time for that. But if you have something, a correction or something, you most of you all know it's completely welcome down here. Maybe you got a better way to do it. Man, jump in. But do not, do not forget to thank those that are doing this. I think that the whole YouTube culture has just become crazy with people thinking they have entitlement. Some of these other comments I have on there, let me read some of these to you. I kid you not, these are real comments. What's the torque spec of my head? What year, what make, what model? And what makes you think that I'm even supposed to, for free, or on my own time, go locate a service manual, look up the spec, and do this for like, and, and, and when I don't respond to those, I kid you not, I get people going, this is freaking bullshit, man, this guy's just in it for the money, this guy's just in it. Yeah, it is a business, like, if you want my personal time, I would love to help you. I have this generic copy and paste that I, I've had to do because I get three to 400 emails a week that just says, hey, I would love to work with you, get over to my website, uh, become a member, or, or uh, support the channel, would love to. But why would I take the time for a bunch of rude ass pieces of crap when I got people like Eugene, I got people like Jeff, I got people like Richard, I got all these kind people that say, hey, man, this is awesome. You know, you, you really impacted me, which leads me to think about another uh, example I wanted to bring. I had this guy, Richard from Kansas City area, who sent me his carburetors. And uh, in, in the beginning, it was just really professional. And he said, this is, this is what I need. You know, I've watched your videos. I think I would like your expertise on rebuilding carbs. I mean, I'm getting pounded by carb jobs. You, got, you guys are being great. You're sending from all over the country. And you're saying, ah, I just, I want, I want you to look at it and see what you find. So I get these carbs. Long story short, you guys may have seen the series on that. And it was, they were so violated. And what I couldn't believe was this guy had spent hundreds of dollars at an OEM Yamaha shop and this type of work was done. And he was given his bike like, okay, it's done. You're good to go. Long story short, Richard got his carbs back, uh, sued the shop, got all his money back. He could be done with me. Richard could be done. He got what he needed. He paid his bill. He was th thrilled with his bill. I could read the email. It says, man, you're a wizard at what you do, blah, 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 whatever. I, I'm not really. I just did, did it right doesn't make you a wizard to just do something right. It just means you have a skill and you're going to use that skill. No magic involved in being a motorcycle mechanic or a mechanic in general. Just do what you need to do. But he just recently reached out to me again. So here it is in February. He must have had a nice day down there. And he says, hey, just a quick note. Uh, my bike runs great and the work you do, you, my friend, uh, um, are a fine. Uh, he doesn't need to do that. But you know what I know about Richard? A guy, if I remember correctly, is in his 60s, owns a business. He understands gratitude. He understands how to say thank you. I mean, if if the majority of people out there honestly just like to even just hear a thank you, thank you for what you do. So all this YouTube uh, and Facebook comments that is just a bunch of craziness. I was talking to a good friend of mine in California yesterday, and I said I've been kind of quiet uh, on her channel because it's so full of shit. It's so full of people, blah, 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 all this junk, you know? And it's really like when I look at something on, on Facebook or YouTube and I think, hey, how can I help? You know, maybe I have an interest in that. This morning at six o'clock this morning, a guy was FaceTiming me from uh, Iraq and the translation barrier is just a nightmare. We're having to do Google Translator on Arabic back to English back and forth. And the guy just doesn't have the help or needs. I don't mind sometimes when I can find time to to help in that and give like some community service on that. I can't do it full time though, my friends. I can't. I mean, this is I you know I have a full time job, a full time shop. I have, I have a lot going on. So if I don't get to your comment, this was another thing I wanted to say. 
man, smile and enjoy the free video. I, if it, you know, like I said, with six thousand comments, how could I possibly? I'm one person. A guy emailed me yesterday on the website and said, "Hey, uh, to Shane and then or whomever, I would like to send my carbs to you to rebuild." And I had, you know, I replied back to him a few days had gone by, and I said, "No, it's just me. It, it's just me. There's no employees. There's no staff. There's no." There's not someone editing. There's not someone videoing. There's not someone uh, writing a script or whatnot. This is just like as live, authentic, real. This is what I do. This is what I do. So, if you uh, if you like this, if you like this channel, uh, I, I just can't encourage you enough. If you would possibly enjoy teaming up with me and share my work, share the links, share uh, the the YouTube channel. YouTube's great for me. It's a great way uh, to. Uh, advance even on my own personal career. I got some really exciting stuff, like I said, coming up to, to let everybody know in the future here of uh, the changes that are going to happen for myself and, and how to wrench. And uh, I give YouTube a lot of credit for that. It might be free and it might be out there, but I'll tell you what, you know, uh, some of you may have seen on Facebook last week that I just got back from Harley Davidson Motor Company up in Milwaukee at the factory. And uh, they donated three more motorcycles to the college. I mean, fantastic. And if you could have heard their comments that they said to the students as far as like, hey, you know, what you guys are doing is amazing. Can you imagine the Harley Davidson PhD University instructors sit around, watch these videos, then talk about it? Hey, we like that, or maybe we didn't like that, or maybe we like this, or that's a good, you know, whatever. But, you know, when they came out, the one guy came out, and like, he literally knew the students from the videos. Like, oh, yeah, you know, you did this, you did that. And they love, a lot of people, I should say, you know, love the fact of the impact, you know, and that's why they gave us stuff at the college. If it wasn't for the YouTube platform that I started, you know, geez, going on nine years ago now, just for the fact of trying to make a place for students that miss class to be able to re-go get that information because they need it. You need it. If you miss it, you don't have it. You go out and field and you're going to hurt someone or yourself or blah, blah, blah. That's where all my passion was coming from watching my mom go through this nightmare in the healthcare world. I mean, people that were professional nurses, you know, poking needles wrong, doing this, almost cutting the wrong leg off, making this mistake, making this med mistake, overdosing, underdosing. I mean, it was just craziness. And that's how it got impacted in my world for me to grab that very first camera. 2008 grabbed that first camera YouTube started in 2007 Let's think about this grabbed that first camera and I strapped it to my head right made a headband for this and said you guys have got to have this information you know seven years of that channel finally hit uh, uh, you know a million views and then I'm getting ready to hit 10 million so it's growing it's getting out there how do we really get to that 100,000 subscribers to where then it just blasts into feeds and recommendations and life changes and hey, this is how you really torque something. This is how you really apply pressure. This is how you do this and this and this. I mean, there's so many skill sets throughout this channel. So uh, I'm, I'm throwing a lot out there. I don't do a lot of these live videos uh, like this. I might do something on a quick little clip of like, hey, check this out. But uh, um, uh, Five second journal, love it. Love uh, the gratitude that I'm thinking about this morning. And you can see that I'm talking about how people can be dumb, but I'm really grateful for the, the good comments, the positive emails, the support, uh, and the support back to me too. I mean, I've had people just financially just donate and say, hey, thank you, I appreciate what you do. A guy did 10 bucks the other day, said thank you for your videos. I mean, it's just, it, you can't imagine the smile that I get on my face and I know other creators when somebody just says hey what you did is awesome it helped me it impacted me buy a new camera buy some supplies do whatever it is you do uh, thank you I mean that is that is pretty awesome but I enjoy it I love being part of this uh, YouTube community and and then Facebook as well uh, Face, Facebook, I'll tell you right now, is very easy for me to just go, bleh, whatever, on a lot of the people that comment on that. People sit and they are tough dudes behind, uh, or people, I should say, behind a computer, and we just don't really pay attention to it. I know that my students and I, especially, we enjoy the heck out of reading uh, a lot of the Facebook comments, uh, sometimes just for plain humor, but, uh, uh, and there's, there's a lot of good stuff on there too. Don't get me wrong, but we just gonna, I'm going to keep moving forward as far as with how to the YouTube channel, everything I'm doing. 
uh, I'm looking at doing some different, uh, more in-depth types of videos. This channel originally started out like that. I mean, if you clicked a video, you were lucky if it was uh, less than 45 minutes long because they were unedited, just like here it is, because they were simply just meant to be, hey, students, check this out. But looking for maximum impact on people being able to use them, and you've got to understand, you know, people typically, if, if you watch a video more than three or four minutes, it, it's a shock. So, I mean, looking at what was best for getting good information out there, those kind of got shortened up. But I would like to go back to doing full feature videos, full feature episodes. You've seen a lot of people uh, kind of gravitate towards YouTube being literally like a TV channel that they will go visit for entertainment or for knowledge or training or whatnot. So, How to Wrench is going to go that direction to more of a, a subscription-based, in-depth types of uh, videos so it doesn't cut out and doesn't just highlight. It'll be the real in-depth stuff. So I see a, a tons of people logging on. This video will go live and you'll be able to uh, uh, come back at it and uh, see everything there is. I'm seeing a lot of names on there that keep popping up too that have uh, just been long, long, long followers, supporters. Um, I, you got to understand too, I recognize and notice the people that share my work. Uh, if you've ever seen that before, I have uh, quite often, I, you know, I'm bringing up other businesses going, hey, check this out. You know, this is a cool business or this is something they do. So I want to encourage you too that that's a, that's a great way to connect with me, share my stuff. I'll be ever grateful for it. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the support. I really need to go get in the shop. I got a busy day uh, here at HowToWrench.com wrapping up some stuff and making some more videos and uh, just doing great work. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. Thank you, as always, for everything you do to be part of this. Make it a great day. And uh, in my mom's memory, love you, Mama. And uh, miss you very much. And keep wrenching. And we'll talk to you again soon.